Kurt Bennett. Kurt Bennett is the oldest of five Bennett brothers who starred in hockey at Cranston East. A 1966 Bolt grad, Bennett was also the 1966 Providence Journal Honor Roll Boy, an award for sports and academic excellence. Kurt was All-State in both hockey and tennis and a member of state championship teams in both sports. As an All-State hockey player, he played on two state championship clubs in 1964 and 66. The 1966 team also won the New England title, where Kurt was named the outstanding defenseman for the tournament. As an All-State selection in tennis, Kurt was one of several team members that also played for the Cranston East hockey team. Kurt led the Bolts to three consecutive tennis state championships. At Brown University, Bennett was a three-time All-Ivy selection and an All-American selection in hockey. He was also captain of the Brown University tennis team. After graduating from Brown, Bennett spent 10 seasons in the National Hockey League, playing for the St. Louis Blues, New York Rangers, and the Atlanta Flames. In 1976, he became the first American developed player to score 30 goals in a season. He was selected an NHL All-Star in 1975 and 1976. Kurt also played international hockey, representing the United States World Cup team in 1978 in Prague and in 1979 in Moscow. Kurt finished his hockey career as a player coach with his brother Harvey for Furukawa Denko in the Japanese Professional Hockey League from 1980 to 1982. Greetings from Maui. Why did I play sports at Cranston? Well, Cranston, we grew up in the 60s, had a lot of sports-oriented people uh, going down the meadows to play baseball, Skating, well, when it did feel good, we skate in the ponds there. And we had uh, our parents that were really involved with sports. And we play at the uh, CLCF and CHA, the hockey, and the tennis at Parkview. Um, but we wanted to play high school because in high school, they had people, bands, they had people cheering, they had cheerleaders, it was really a big time. So uh, I think we aspired all to graduate up to the ranks and to play high school sports. The sports is sports in our life. I think we had uh, our whole family was very sports oriented. It, it kind of gave us a, a path to follow. Each way you went, you would graduate to the next level and uh, give a good education when you weren't, you had a bad attitude. I think sports is good because when you aren't thinking right, you, it shows up in how you play in your game. So, Following that, we would lead into our schooling and everything else. And I think sports provided a, a good uh, framework in order to frame your life and to discipline yourself to, to do schoolwork and to do other activities. I think the main lesson that sports teaches athletes or anyone that plays sports, and that is at any level, it doesn't have to be professional, is that you're going to win and it's fun and it's exciting, but you're also going to lose. And that's not so much fun. So getting knocked down, but being able to get up and recover and go again, because no matter what business or activity you have, you're going to lose, and you have to come back from it. And I think that's the advantage of sports. And if you have good coaches like we did in Cranston and Rhode Island, they would teach you how to come back. If you lose, you come back and you try again. And many times you don't make it, but you do try again. Well, the great, the great advantage for a lot of us in Cranston growing up was uh, being able to play hockey. We were able to go to schools like Brown and Harvard, and uh, we played quite a few players that in the ACA, primarily because of their hockey talents were able to give them the opportunity to be pursued by these schools and taken in. So I think that was the greatest asset in sports in Rhode Island. Uh, you were able to go to a good college and go on. In my case, I was able to go on and play professionally, too. So my background, or my, my roots, came to Rhode Island, where I learned my hockey and my tennis. Great experience with the high school athletes. Uh, the truth is, when you do play sports, and especially at the high you know, it's a big deal in high school, uh, you're really playing not just for yourself, you're playing for all your comrades. You have to go to school the next day and you have to see them. So if you're winning and doing well, they share. And I think 
that's one thing great about sports is it's not only just you, but who you represent. And if you can do well, they're excited too. And this went on and later on when I played as Brown and then professionally for 12 years, the people would be very excited when you did well. Of course, they weren't very happy when you did badly either. That didn't work too good. But they were involved. And I think that was the greatest uh, good feeling you had about sports is that you could do something that was not only just for yourself, but for other people. Share that. Uh, my final words is I think the great thing about uh, sports, and I'm specifically talking about Transmit Mighty Thunderbolts, is we had great coaches. I'm speaking specifically about hockey and tennis. We had Howie Crins in hockey and John Leonard in tennis. And one thing I think that was very good about them is that they wanted us to play sports. Obviously, we, were, we had some talented teams, but they wanted us to do well in school, too. And they kind of forced us to make sure you're not just an athlete but you're a student, and I know that's important uh, to uh, athletes later on because, you know, sports eventually get, like me, old, rickety, and nothing works anymore. It's good to have something in the background. But aloha from Maui.